Okay, round one, we have the choice. Play in first. Yeah, we'll keep this. This hand's fine. Not as aggressive as I would like, but we have Celestial Flare. We're playing lands for a few turns. It's a good split of lands and spells. Uh, Heart of Beast is very good in this deck. Opponent Mulligans keeps at six on the draw. Unfortunately, we cannot pressure them much, but who knows? Maybe we rip a Lieutenant off the top. That would be ideal. Green mana, I will actually take. Um, might as well play it now. It doesn't let us keep Celestial Flare up, but I can't think of any haste guys that you'd be able to play turn two off of a first turn white mana anyway. All right. So it looks like turn four Tactician is our first play. Three white manas. Nothing else from our opponent. All right. Stoward Haven. Well, that's slightly more exciting than a Tactician here. Since I want to get Renown online ASAP, I also want to stick a Knightly Valor on that Haven. If at all possible. Archangel of Tithes. Creatures can't attack you or Planeswalker you control unless the controller pays one for each of those creatures. As long as it's attacking, creatures can't block. Okay. Well, the nice thing is we get to attack. I would have liked to have Knightly Valored. But basically, we get to attack Renown, and then we get to Celestial Flare when he swings back. And I doubt he blocks, so I'm just doing this to get Renowned now. And then we'll keep up the Celestial Flare, so we can kill the Archangel. I doubt he keeps it back. He could, though. Well, I'm much happier that he's blocking, so... We'll just... It doesn't have, like, Indestructible or something, does it? That'd be terrible. All right. So we slay Archangel and pass. I'm actually pretty happy. I would have been happy with anything he did there. Whether he took it, I would have... I think I'm actually happier that he blocked, because getting that thing off the table is pretty nice. Unfortunately, Thopter Engineer makes our... Um, Celestial Flare worse, but that's okay. So now we get to Knightly Valor, which is just insane. Just put a huge dude on the board. Get some really good value here. A Vigilant Flyer. Granted, he can Suppression Bonds it now, but we already got value, so not even that big of a deal. Plus, I've got Heart of Beast to find another one. He's got to deal with the 4-6 flyer, so he's got to play Suppression Bonds here. If he does have Suppression Bonds, we get to bring in Caterpillar for game, <clears throat> excuse me, game two, which is quite good. He's got all the Thopters. Tacking with Thopters. What could he have for one mana? What could he possibly... Enshrouding Mist is the only thing that comes to mind. I'm just going to block because I really, I, I, I just can't think of what it is. Did he forget about Vigilance? Or I, I honestly don't know. Um, I think we play Tactician here. Because then he just can't block. At least can't block well. He has to double block. I guess he can double block. I don't really want to trade a Knight for a Gear Crafter. Maybe we just play Patron then. Let's get in with Avon and play Patron. Because Patron become Oh, I should have... For some reason, I always think... Ugh, I always think that Patron gets the plus one, plus one counter itself. I've made that mistake like a thousand times. And I don't know why I think that. I think it gets the counter and not the creature. I always forget that. Maybe he's got Tragic Arrogance. 
that would have explained the attack, right? Because then it doesn't matter if he has the Thopters or not. But then I think he'd want to chump block if he has Tragic Arrogance to prevent damage. That was just weird. I think my maybe my opponent did forget about the Vigilance. I'm not sure. So I'm playing against Red-White. He did have to mulligan, so game one is not an indicator of how easy things are going to be, I don't think. Especially since we saw some, we saw a Mythic Rare that's very good, and we saw two, um, you know, pretty pretty solid red creatures. I don't think we've got a sideboard plan yet, right? I don't think so. So the angel's actually a little bit difficult to deal with, to be honest. I think. Uh, I mean, we've got the combat tricks for it, clearly, but the problem is Suppression Bond's not very good on it. Since you still have to pay to attack and block, which is a very good mythic ability. So we're going to have a little bit of a problem with that with that angel if we don't have the combat tricks. Caterpillar is the speculative sideboard card for this match, but I need to actually see artifacts more than Thopter tokens to justify caterpillar i think all right let's try game two yeah this hand is perfectly fine once again nothing cheap yet but i like that our deck has a lot of high value stuff in it so turn two leap turn four impath right now not the greatest curve out. Uh oh. Topin Freeblade is a monster. Yeah. Topin Freeblade is definitely a problem. So, two drop rip here would be great. Aven is okay. Not the insane. Not the insanity I was hoping for. So we're gonna be beaten down by a Freeblade for a little bit here. Well. I guess the good news is, even if we... Not the good news, but if we had gotten the two-drop anyway, Freeblade still would have gotten in. So, I guess it's not, like, the worst thing ever. So now we go Avon, Empath, Heart of Beast, Suppression Bonds, or Knightly Valor. I think we are going to block this scout. I can't really afford to take. All right, he's not going to attack with it anyway, so we'll definitely take the free blade here. If we can get our dude renowned, we're, we're in good shape. All right, Charging Griffin, I don't think is that great anyway. Hmm. Well, I've got to attack into it. Problem is, if I don't attack into it, it gets to attack into me. So I kind of want him to take it so I don't have to Mighty the Masses. Very good. All right. So now we'll slam an Empath. And I will trade for a Scout. Um, definitely don't need the land, so we'll bottom that. But top and Castellan, which is quite good. So we can trade with Scout, take six. Hopefully Heart of Beast holds back that Griffin, or uh, Free Blade. Oof. That's a rough one. All right. So now we got to dig for suppression bonds here. We're taking just a million damage here. All right. So we have to keep both our guys back next turn as well as play Heart of Beast. We're very close to dead here. Ooh, Cleric is actually really nice here. Can I afford to... Hmm. Kind of want to go Castell and Cleric. Problem is neither of, neither of them can really attack into the... And we're still taking Griffin. We go back up to 8, though. It gives us multiple blockers. It really only lets him attack with the, the Griffin. I kind of need to... It the, the problem is the Griffin puts us on a two-turn clock. So I do 
kind of... Can I even live if I play Heart of Beast? Let's say I play Heart, Heart of Beast. He, he taps down Aven. I guess it does. And then I can play Suppression Bonds on the Griffin next turn. I think we can't afford to play these two right now. So we basically have to go Heart of Beast, find Suppression Bonds. Hope he's got absolutely nothing. Knightly Valor would be good too, but we need to lock down Griffin. Pretty bad here. So basically, he's got to have nothing. No pumps, no burn. And we get to go Bonds plus Cleric. All right, Bakker Brute's a problem. I think we're still going to live, though. I believe. I mean, got to do this. And then we got to play the Cleric. I'm not sure if we're dead. I didn't do the math, but I think we actually live here, believe it or not. Yeah, I think we legitimately do live here. This is going to be a, this is a tough road to recovery. This is a tough road. All right, well, as you might imagine, we're doing a lot of blocking. All right, so blocks are... I think blocks are like this. All right, so he kills our Aven. I believe we kill Freeblade, though. All right, that's tolerable. No follow-up play is great for us. I wish we could have used Evolutionary Leap, but that's okay. That is all right. All right, let's, uh, let's play Castellan here and pass. So I could sack the cleric to find a better creature. Do I need to? I mean, I don't need to. What are some creatures I could find? Like hangerback walker, tacticians, patron, other stuff. I think cleric's kind of useful on this board, though. All right, well... That's a thing. Let's, uh... Let's swing with Castellan here. Does have Vigilance. Hope he doesn't have the Celestial Flare. If he does, I get to sack in response, so it's not even that bad. Gideon's Phalanx. Well, that's going to be a tough one to beat. That's his last card, huh? Well, maybe he blocks. If he does, I can kill most of his dudes. I actually want him to block here. I was kind of hoping he'd block with more. Unfortunately, I don't think we can... Do I have anything that generates multi-creatures?
I don't. Um, yeah, I just don't have enough blockers. I mean, should I just leap to hope to, like, I can't find anything though, can I? I can find a tactician, it doesn't help. I don't have anything that can block multiple dudes. Basically, if I could shut off the bogger brute, we'd be fine, but I just don't have anything that can do that. I think I can't do it. We'll fake like we've got something, but I don't have anything. Actually, I guess we're not dead. We're not dead, are we? Basically just block everything. All right, well, still live. Uh-oh, that's going to be a problem. Um, no, I guess we've got the... Well, oh, I need a creature, though. I need a creature. Oh, my God. Saved. I'm at one life. This is craziness. I don't even think charging Griffin's that good. That's kind of the funny thing. Sentinel seems really good here. I think we're just going to slam it and pass. I don't get to keep up Mighty Leap, but I could swing with Castellan. I guess I would trade a Castellan for a Brute right now. Basically, getting the Menace guy off the board seems really good. I'm really happy he's letting me renown here, though. I didn't attack with Aven in case he's got removed. Well, it's an easy block for him, and I didn't want to use Mighty Leap, so... All right. We got a Road to Recovery here, believe it or not. Lieutenant's very good. So let's get in with... think just Castellan. I could do Sentinel too. But that leaves me vulnerable to removal. And Lieutenant's going to be insane for us anyway. Like, if I attack with Sentinel, maybe it didn't leave me vulnerable to removal because of the Mighty Leap. Alright. I guess next turn I should probably swing with with Goldforge Sentinel. All right, well, I would have died, geez. Well, no, I guess I would have had to have Mighty Leaped, but all right. We've got enough blockers. So we're still kicking it freestyle. I'd like to threaten lethal. I just cannot. <laughs> I need I need all my blockers now.
All right. This is a tough one. Ooh. Yeah, that's the extra blocker I needed. I still don't think I can go all in, though, right? I don't think I can. If I go all in, what are his blocks? He has five blocks. He's at nine life. He can afford to take... See, the problem is he can afford to take a couple guys. I think I can only swing with Castellan again. I need all six blockers for his five uh, attackers. Right? Because I have to double block that, and then I have to block his four remaining guys. If I threaten lethal with two guys, he does have to block, though. So I could swing with... The problem is I can't... I can swing with Castellan and Sentinel. Force to block with the Thopter. But he can crack back with... Griffin into my Aven, which is only a 1-3. And I can Mighty Leap. Seems a bit greedy, doesn't it? It does bait the attack. If he has removal, we're dead anyway. Maybe it is better to force the... Force the block. Force the block, which forces him to attack next turn. We've got the trick for it. This force is block. We have five blockers. He's going to have four attackers, one of which has to be double block. I think attacking here is okay. Like I said, it forces the block, and it forces him to attack back with Griffin, in which case we have the mighty leap on defense, so we can just blow out block. I think this is an okay play. So we're forcing him to block with a Thopter. Wow. That's actually kind of a... I'm, I mean, I'm happier he blocked like that, to be honest. Because now we just have a really good block. We get to basically Mighty Leap, uh, whatever, a Heart of Beast against his Griffin. Nointer. All right, so what are we smashing with here? We smash with everything. His best blocks are, are stop the four power guy. Can he afford to stop the two power guy? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think he's dead, right? He only has two ground blocks, so he's taken minimum five in the air. He blocks our two biggest guys on the ground which are a four and three power. So he takes five, seven, nine. He does have one card, but we have an anointer and we have evolutionary leap. I think we smash with everything here. Plus our guy has vigilance. Yeah, this is a smash with everything situation for sure. Let's say he has removal. We get to kill whatever is going to die anyway, unless it was a Celestial Flare. Wow, that was... It really doesn't get much closer than that, does it? Jeez. Uh, opponent's deck was pretty good. Even though I don't like charging Griffin all that much, he was making him work pretty well with that grasp. Jeez. Wow. 
Wowzers. That was a close game. We'll uh, see you around two.